In 17 years of ministry, I have learned that one of the most powerful aspects in the calling of God is trusting the cause that He's put inside of your heart. People ask the question all the time, Pastor, how do I find my one great cause? How do I find that one thing in my life that I was born to do? Well, the answer is very simple. You trust what God has put in your hand. You trust that what He put in your hand is enough to get started to see the process of a great cause be born inside of every single one of you. You'll be challenged along the way. You'll want to quit. You'll want to give up. You'll want to throw in the towel as I have been so many times in my life in 17 years of ministry. There have been times I've wanted to quit. There have been times I've got in my car and drove home and said, I cannot pastor this church in the middle of the inner city. I don't know how to do it. I don't have enough in my hand. But God always brings me back to the concept that it's not about what's in my hand. It's about what's in his heart. And when you have the heart of God, and you've captured the essence of what is in the heart of God, and you serve out of that passion, you serve out of that commitment, you'll never have to look for your cause ever again. You know that your cause will begin to find you. The people that you meet will shape you. The experiences that you come in contact with will form the ultimate vision that God has put in your heart. But most people don't start on their cause because they feel like maybe they had a bad past or fear or failure or reversals in their life that will even stop them from even thinking that they have the ability to start. But can I remind you that sometimes your great cause can be found within your greatest mistakes? Your greatest failure could oftentimes be the ingredient of the cause that God wants to start working inside of you. Trust what God has put in your heart. Believe that when God gives you something to do, no matter what you've been through or done or where you've been, it's something that he is using for his glory. Oftentimes we hit rock bottom, we think it's the end of the dream. But can I tell you, I've hit rock bottom. I know what it's like to be at the very lowest point of my life at 20 years of age, weeping for three hours on a pillow, wondering if I can even continue on in the dream. But I realize that rock bottom is not where dreams go to die. Rock bottom is a place where dreams are recreated. Let God recreate his great cause in you. Trust what he has put in your hand and believe that it is enough. Well, David just had a slingshot. He did miracles. A boy had a few loaves and fishes. It turned into something incredible. Your life is on the path to being something incredible and finding your one great cause by losing yourself into the cause of Christ.